Hello. In this video, we are going to model the simple cubic 111 surface using Lego locking bricks. We will also look at uh, the adsorption of gas molecules onto such a surface and compare the simple cubic 111 surface to our modeling of the 100 and the 110 surfaces as well. Here we have a simple sketch of the simple cubic, also known as the cubic primitive crystal structure. And we see that the distance between adjacent atoms is this edge length A, and is the same for all the sides because we have a perfect cube here. So in the X, Y, and Z direction, the translation is always A, and all the relevant angles here are all right angles. That makes it cubic. The simple part, the primitive part, is that each of the atoms of the crystal are all at the vertices, but none are on the faces and none are in the center of the crystal structures. That's why this is the simple cubic. Suppose instead of having an infinite crystal, we truncate it. We actually cut off the crystal at one of the planes. And let's suppose also that we terminate the bulk structure of the crystal along this particular top plane here. So it's almost as if we had an infinite structure and we basically just chopped along to expose this particular plane here and then continuing along in an infinite x, both x and y directions. If we do that, we will recognize that the surface structure we see is square. So the distance in the x direction is a units, whatever the edge length is, and in the y direction, the distance is uh, a, the edge length A. Now, the reason why I put 4 here is when we modeled the simple cubic 100 surface using Lego bricks, we put the atoms that make up the bulk, the metal, we separated them by a distance of 4 studs in the x direction and a distance of 4 studs in the y direction. As a result of this, we end up getting a nice simulation of the simple cubic 100 structure, which we notice is square. So both the x and y lengths are the same, and between the two vectors, we have exactly a 90 degree angle. Other things that we can say is when we see the simple cubic 100 surface, we notice that relative to this particular point in the center, it has a C4 rotational symmetry, so we say it has fourfold rotational symmetry. We also have fourfold symmetry at any of the vertices. So the high order rotation axis for the simple cubic 100 surface is actually a C4, and we can do this in Lego quite simply by using a distance of 4 for the vector in the x direction and a distance of 4 for the vector in the y direction for simple cubic 100. Next, we want to look at the simple cubic 110 phase. To visualize this particular phase, imagine again if we take the bulk, but now we actually truncate it starting along this line here. So we cut between these two atoms and then go along this blue line here. So it's the diagonal of the side faces. So the uh, exposed plane that we see is at this end has a green line from of length A. This is the edge length A here, but along the blue sides, we have the diagonal of the side faces. So here we see the exposed plane again, the 110 plane. And we know that along the green line, we have a length of A. And along the blue line, which is dashed here and it's solid here, but it's color coded in blue, this length is the square root of 2 times a because we're taking the diagonal of a, uh, of a triangle. Now, because the square root of 2 is an irrational number, there is no way within a finite size Lego system where the studs are equidistantly placed of getting an edge length that is exactly the square root of 2 times a. But we can get very, very close to it. So for example, if we take the edge length a to be again our four units that we used in uh, the 100 simple cubic phase. But now 
So let's approximate the square root of 2 times a by 6. And this is actually relatively close because we know that the square root of 2 is 1.414. It's slightly smaller than 1.5. If we approximate the square root of 2 as exactly 1.5, then this length here would exactly be 6 units. So it's within about a 10% error, but it does accurately reproduce uh, most of the important features of this particular structure. In particular, one thing we notice is that with the 100 surface, that we had a square surface. Here we notice that while we still have a rectangle because the angles are still 90 degrees, the edge length here is 4, but the edge length here is the square root of 2 times a. So rather than having a square, we now have a rectangle. So we have a two-fold rotational axis um, going this way, so we rotate this side to that side, also from this side to this side. So we have the high order rotation axis for the 110 plane of simple cubic it is going to be a C2, whereas we had a C4 for the simple cubic 100 plane. The third important crystal face for simple cubic is the 111 face. So now let's imagine that we cleave the bulk by going, cutting along the line from this atom to this atom along this face, along this diagonal, from this atom to that atom along the bottom face along the diagonal, and then from this atom to this atom again along the left face along the diagonal. So each of the three sides is the diagonal uh, of one of the faces, so they all have identical length. This length is the square root of 2 times a. So with the 1, 1, 1 phase, we now have threefold symmetry. We have a C3 high order rotational axis. And as difficult as it was to transform from a square 100 simple cubic to the rectangular simple cubic 110, becomes even more complicated to work out the details for using Lego to model the 111 surface. On the base plate, we set atoms in this direction at a distance of eight units, so that to the center, we have a distance of four units and a distance of four units, but in between two atoms of the surface, it's going to be a distance of eight units along a row of the Lego studs. In this direction, vertically, we have a distance of seven units. So if we go in the X direction, I mean the Y direction, I'm sorry, up vertical, we go a distance of seven studs from here to the midpoint of this bisector. Notice that there isn't a atom here. So there's atoms at the black points, but not necessarily every intersection of the line. So in this direction, it's four. The height is seven. So since we have a four, seven, and something type of triangle right here. So we notice that 49, uh, seven squared is 49, plus uh, four squared is 16. So this gives us the side as being the square root of 65. And we notice that the square root of 65 is almost exactly 8.02. So the distance between these two atoms is just about 8.02 units, whereas the distance between this atom and that atom is 8 units. So it's only a difference between 8 and 8.02. So the error in modeling the uh, threefold symmetric simple cubic 111 phase is less than 1%, but we have to choose our coordinate system uh, judiciously. Here we clearly see the trigonal uh, nature of the simple cubic 111 surface. We've highlighted that the interatomic distance along the surface is the square root of 2 times a. 
You also notice that in the process of developing our three-fold symmetry, we actually get six-fold six -fold symmetry at each of these vertices, the way it's set up. If we remove the paper, you can actually see the underlying structure of how we build up this particular surface. We'll notice that from here to here, we have a distance of eight studs. From this line to this particular point, we have a distance of seven. So it's not 100% perfectly C3 symmetry, but since it's within uh, about 1%, it shows that we can even model a complicated surface like the trigonal one quite efficiently using Lego blocks with very, very little sacrifice in ultimate accuracy. One last important feature to keep in mind with the simple cubic 111 surface. Later on, we will see similar 111 surfaces for body center cubic uh, and for uh, uh, face center cubic. And we'll notice in those cases, below the surface atoms, so below this top layer here, in other regions, we actually have important atoms that are below the level of these particular uh, metal atoms that we've denoted. So in simple cubic, we will have, for the, the 100, we have a square, for the 110, we have a rectangle, and for the 111, we have an equilateral triangle at the surface, but each of those is simple, which means that we don't have any of the surface atoms uh, in between, inside of the unit circle. And when we get to other structures, we'll see that that is not true. So be very careful if you're modeling the uh, simple cubic 111 surface that you use this particular uh, paper pattern and make sure that you distinguish it from the 111 patterns for the body center cubic and for the face center cubic, which look similar, but are slightly different. I thank you again for your attention. Have a good one.